Disclaimer my time, none of these pictures here belong to me. Toho belongs to Zune and any pictures used here all belong to the respective owner. Just in case someone says that I own these, I do not. I definitely do not have the skills nor the patience to make these pictures. So there you go, just to be on the safe side. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's move on. The Toho Project, a game series with a cast of over 150 characters, 99.99% .99 of them being girls. You are no doubt going to find pictures of them being cute, but we're not going to be counting down pictures that are just cute or adorable. Oh no! This list is going to go beyond that and show you pictures with so much sweetness and that you end up in a sugary coma. Prepare yourself, you're going to hear me say adorable and cute a lot in this video, and for good sugary reasons. Without further ado, I present to you my top 10 diabetic inducing pictures. Or simply my top 10 cute Toho pictures. Number 10. Humans tend to fight. A lot, sadly. There are many reasons why we fight, like to protect our families, people, country, and whatnot. There are many unfortunate reasons we fight, like for money, for revenge, or even just for someone else's entertainment. There are also times when we fight because we must, or else our pride or honor will be tarnished. And this next picture shows just that. While some of you guys and gals might be on the fence about fighting, you gotta admit, this is quite an adorable battle if I must say so. Number 9 I want to give Mei Ling the benefit of the doubt and say that being a gatekeeper sucks. You need to stand outside the gate for I don't know how long, watching the same old forest with the same old sky and with the same old sounds. While it's not the toughest job, it isn't exactly the most entertaining one either. Luckily, no one usually enters the mansion, except for Marissa that is. And to be fair, Marissa isn't what you would call ordinary. I mean, being able to be a mansion full of powerful yokais and one overpowered human, with some of them having lived for centuries. So when Marissa enters the mansion, there's not much Mei Ling is going to be able to do. Which is why if Mei Ling were it to do this... She would definitely stop Marissa. Although Marissa might just die from her heart exploding because of the cuteness Mei Ling is exhibiting. Number 8 Cats and dogs, both creatures are adored by the majority of humanity. They offer company, entertainment, and love to many others. They also provide a lot of stress at times, but that's the price we pay for taking care of another living being. Which again, isn't so bad in my opinion. These two, while beloved, have been enemies of sorts for a long time now. Ancient even. So this next picture showcases another example of the never-ending rivalry between these two animals. Goes to show you that even in Kinsokyo, the rivalry between these species is still as strong as ever. I do wish Shen luck though. It can't be easy hanging on to that tree for dear life. Number 7 I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to play the shit out of crayons. I would draw endlessly with them. My drawings always suck, and I could never tell what they were, but they were fun nonetheless. And this next picture shows someone having fun with crayons just as much, if not more, than I did. I adore this picture not only because she's using crayons, but because she's drawing them on her ghost hat. I love this since it makes Yomu look both adorable and creative by using her ghost hat. She even dressed up her ghost hat by using Raymond's ribbon, as if you couldn't make her ghost hat even cuter. Number 6 Like many people, I love to sleep. Especially after a long day from work or a strenuous activity, it feels nice just to lie down in a soft bed head laying down a comfy pillow. And this next picture shows you how awesome it feels to sleep when you have a kick-ass pillow. This picture just personifies the perfect sleep. This demonstrates another creative way Yomu is using her ghost to have to make her life more enjoyable. And if you notice the text above her, it translates into this. As if Yomu couldn't get any cuter. Remember when I said as if you couldn't make her ghost half even cuter? I lied. Number 5 Util or Okyu isn't exactly what you would call smart. Mistaking what Kanako told Okyu when eating Yadakaratsu, Oku somehow came to the conclusion that taking over Kinsokyo 
was the wish that both worlds below and above the surface wanted. Yeah, it's best if you don't ask. Like I said, not the smart type. While she may lack an intellect, she does make up for it with a bunch of cuteness. And this picture shows you. It's strong with this one, but to be fair, the whole list is strong with it. But anyway, Okie was just so bloody adorable in this picture. Her eyes are closed, wings are flapping, and she's even saying ooh you multiple times, as if that was enough to kill someone. If you notice what she's holding, it's a heart-shaped chocolate, and the tag of this picture mentions Valentine, so she's being this cute while giving you a Valentine chocolate. And this commentator practically sum up this picture in one sentence. She radiates too much more. I guess you could say that she radiates at a nuclear level. You see what I did there? Bell mage, what are you doing here? I was watching some anime until I heard that terrible pun. How are you even able to hear me? It doesn't matter. That was terrible, mage. You should feel horrible for it. I don't know how you showed up, asshole, but you should leave. Your ugliness is ruining the video. Fine, loser. I don't want to be in this scrub video anyway. Douchebag. Heard that? Shut up, dude! Anyway, number four. Now, I have a good question for you all. What does Yukari, Yuyuko, Eren, Kanako, and Hijiri have in common? Well, they're part of the old Maiden Alliance. You might ask why they're seen as it, and that's a very good question. The reason they consider that is because they possess an aura of maturity, possibly for being many centuries old. Or that's what it says in the pool anyway. <laughs> While they are considered the old Maida lines, the next picture is going to make you think otherwise. All I can say is they're incarnated. Just having them being children would have been enough to kill any sane being, but the activities they're doing is just monstrously adorable! Aaron is brushing Yukari's hair while Yukari is drawing Hijiri's scroll. Hijiri looks so happy playing with her scroll and saying Namu Shan, a childish version of Namu San. Yuyuko is just looking at Hiji while holding on to that ghost. And Kanako is minding her own business, playing with her own Ibashiri blocks. Although it looks like her short height is at a disadvantage at the moment. The image is too deadly and should not be shown under any circumstances. Only those who understand how powerful cuteness can be should even attempt to look at it. All others will fall prey to this picture and die from cuteness overload. Number 3. You may or may not know, but one of Flandre's spell cards is called Taboo, Four of a Kind. What this spell is pretty much makes three other clones of Flandre. And if you know Flandre, she's bloody powerful. So having three more of her in battle is usually a death sentence there. Anyway, this picture shows how Flandre utilizes the spell card to be even more deadly, if that were even possible. I told ya! Now, where do I even start with this? Let's begin with the right Flandre. The right flange is talking to Patchouli. The text above her says, You see? And the second text says, And then? There's the top flange, and she's just taking a good old nap by Patchouli's head. The left flange is looking at the book, being completely and utterly confused by the content. And the bottom flange is just staring at the book. Flange is a bloody genius! Why only have one cute girl when you can multiply that by four? And look at Patchouli. She's stuck there thinking. Let me read my goddamn books! Number 2 The next picture has Flandre once again for good reason. But not just Flandre. Oh no, we're also adding Moku as well. Anyway, let's show what number 2 is. While some of you guys might have preferred the last picture to be number 2, or even number 1, let me explain why I chose this picture for number 2. This picture shows Flandre to be really excited and happy with the clothes she's wearing, and I won't lie. I find Flandre wearing pants to be quite adorable. Her happiness to her clothes also puts a nice spell to my face. Not only that, but seeing Moku wearing a skirt is quite different, to be honest. I personally haven't uh, crossed upon much or any pictures with Moku wearing a skirt when I look at Toho fan art. That's not a bad thing, so to speak. Moku looks fine and cool as it is. Not only seeing Moku wearing a dress funny, but her expression as well. That is the face of someone who is completely unamused. Number one. 
Now this next picture is not going to be mind blowing or whatnot compared to the top 10 funny list, but it's number one for a reason. Well, for me anyway. Before wasting more time, let's show you guys my number one for diabetic inducing pictures. The two most important characters in the Toho series, Raymu and Marissa. Being in almost every game, manga, and other print ones. Not only that, but they're really good, if not best friends as well. The reason I chose this for number one, aside from the adorableness, is that we get to see a younger Raymu and Marissa still chilling at the shrine, having a good time by eating watermelon. It really puts a smile on your face, seeing that even while they were this young, they were still friends and have a good time eating with each other. I bet Rinosuke and Yukari are probably wondering how cute those two were in the past compared to now. Man, I wish I knew. Anyway, this concludes my list for top 10 diabetic and decent pictures. Which ones were your favorite? Did Yomu's crayon wrong spark some images from you? Did Flandre's use of her spell card show you how truly powerful and adorable it was? Or did the old Mary lines in their youthful, youthful times make you go, aww, or <laughs> Anyway, like always, this is Magia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hello, Magia here, and as you just watched, that was my top 10 diabetic inducing pictures for, uh, for Toho. And anyway, like I usually say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's just discuss some random stuff for my end slate. Um, as you're seeing right now, um, the, uh, the video playing in front of you, it should be Enchanting Swordplay Riviera, uh, the first uh, Toho fan game I did for my channel. Um, and the main scene, and the main video you're seeing right now, so I'll just put in uh, a different, uh, and I'll just put an annotation somewhere, just so for you guys to click it, so you guys can put, uh, watch it later on if you're interested. And I'll also put an annotation to my, the game I did after that, and that was Fantasy Meeting Wars Scarlet, which is, um, retelling of the Scarlet, uh, list incident. Which is a really good one, my ad. Um, so about the video, um, I did finish it in the time frame I wanted, which was two weeks. Um, I, um, it was actually I did it a lot faster, surprisingly. Um, the only reason it was like what I did it less than two weeks is because there were some circumstances that happened in real life, so I was not able to do it at the time. But once I was able to deal with that, it was, the video just got quick. Um, I feel I can definitely do it in a week. Now, I have a list of um, other top 10 I want to do. And I can do it uh, pretty quickly now, I feel. The only hard part is just the pictures. Not the top 10 pictures, it's the pictures um, uh, I want to use when I'm just saying uh, different words. I think I mentioned this in the first video, but it's really, that's, the hard, that's really the hardest thing. That could take a while, depending on um, what I feel is needed for the time for the video. So, the video will definitely be one once a week. Like, once, uh, if nothing happens, it will definitely be once a week, uh, which is my goal. Um, in terms of date, I don't exactly know when I want to, uh, what you call again, finish these. Maybe every Sunday or Monday, that's my goal for, like, I will post one of these top 10 every Sunday or Monday. But that's just approximate right now. That's my goal to do. Because it's still just the second video. So there are other ways I can improve in time. But once I get really good, I will announce that Sundays will be my day. And obviously if I miss it, I'll just say sorry. And I'll just post the day on the next day or whatnot. Um, that's just for pictures. Um, it can get a little difficult once I start going to other realms of the top 10 total. Because it's not, like I mentioned, it's not going to be just pictures. It'll be... Maybe dojins or characters, music, spell cards, any of the sort, and that can get obviously that will be a little different because it's not used to just pure pictures. So, um, I just have to play around with that, make a guideline how I want to approach it. So, it'll be a while before I get to that point, but it is just to let you guys know that I will be switching to that once I feel I'm quick enough to do so. So, uh, the top, the, uh, the dive bag, these pictures, oh, it was so fun to do. It was just, oh, it was so hard. And I just like, aww, oh, like, the pictures were just so great. And I just, could, I just couldn't handle it. It was amazing. Um, so it was really hard to narrow it down because I had, what, a uh, hundred? Yes, a hundred pictures I wanted to go with. And then narrowing, I had to narrow, narrow, narrow it, narrow, narrow it, yes. 
not narrate, I'll actually narrow it down. You get the idea. So I can narrow that down continuously until I got to the top 10. And then after, uh, then at that point, I was just thinking, okay, what, how, I'm, like, which pictures would be the funniest to narrate after? Because once you get that much picture, you, you just start thinking, how can I narrate this to be more hilarious? In a sense, so that's what I did later on. Once I had that many hundred pictures, narrowing down to just ten. Oh boy, I mean, that was just a challenge. But other than that, it was just oh, that was fun. And uh, what else did I want to do? Oh yeah, like I should be. By the time I release this, I'll be still working on the EOSD uh busy person series. I'm um, thinking probably I might want to do two games at the same time. Uh, the EOSD for now and um different game just so to keep it up because uh, while I am no doubt enjoying it it's not like I'm not really doing much because it's a visual that I kind of expected that to begin with so I wanna, uh, in a few days or so, I'll be researching a game I'm, I'll be interested in doing and then just be playing that as well with those two videos so I'll be releasing two play uh, two game you know two games uh, video every day hopefully that way you'll have a variety to do so and when uh, Urban Legend of Limbo, which is 14.5, if you did not know, comes out, I'll be switching gears and just... Depending on what the progress of my games, depending if it's the EOZ or the new game, I might just stop for the time and just go all out because I'm really interested in what this is. And if you saw the last video, there was a character that I really wanted to know, so that is my goal to do so. Um, because we all, we all, we always gotta play Raymond vs. Kanz and then obviously all the other characters we've got. So that's my goal once it comes out. But that might be a little while, so I don't have to worry about it for now. But other than that, I think I've mentioned anything, everything I need to say in terms of the instant. So it's a fun video to do. Goal is to do it every Sunday or Monday once I feel I'm comfortable with doing so. Two games, a on two series of games now, hopefully. Just gotta have research of a uh, different game I would really want to work on. And um Urban Legend Olympo, once it's released, full version, and probably not going to translate at the time, uh, I'll be switching my gears to do that as, uh, just do all out, go all out on that, because it be, looks really fun, and other than that, I think that's about it, so, let go, this is Magic, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode.